From the center of the galaxy, this is Four Center Show about Star Wars, pop culture, and the ultimate adventure, life itself. And today, the adventure of life is deciding pop culture in Star Wars. <laughs> it's Subjective Wars. I'm Ken Napsok. I'm Joseph Scrimshaw, and I'm thrilled and tortured to be here. I'm Jennifer Landa, and I'm excited to debate. <laughs> This is our series where, as the title uh, suggests, we take our own subjective opinions and don't necessarily turn them into facts. We turn them into strong-held opinions. But we also <laughs> see if we, in the course of the discussion, you can uh, turn the other person in the room and to your side. It's how, you know, political debates should go in life. Just, uh, you know, brandy uh, and decorum. Uh, but who knows? We'll see where we're going. Uh, today is a deceptively simple topic. Mm. It is... Snow Troopers, mostly for the most part, we're saying the classic original trilogy, Snow Trooper. But hey, if a First Order one pops into your conversation, it does. Versus Shore Troopers, which are very much new modern era 2016 Star Wars, but right smack dab in that original trilogy era. Shore Troopers, Snow Troopers, this is going to be a battle of your favorite action figures maybe in the end. Jen, any <laughs> opening thoughts? I thought I knew where I was going, and then the more I started to dive into it, I swayed myself to a different direction. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. We'll keep that there. I want to come back yeah. to you in a second. <laughs> Joseph, jump in here as you, uh, uh, as you want. Uh, opening thoughts on where your heart goes. Yeah, I, I, we needed a new topic, and this one popped into my head uh, because I like coming up the, with the ones that cause us the most angst. And I yeah. think these are probably my two favorite Stormtrooper variants. Hmm. Uh, and uh, so I, I hmm. thought that I was just going to be an all-in Shore Trooper because Shore Trooper is kind of my favorite. They're both absolutely cool and just totally ridiculous at the same time, which for me is a compliment in Star Wars. I like it to be deadly mm -hmm. serious and bonkers at the same time. But Snow Troopers hmm. have long held my heart is from my perspective the original stormtrooper variant because yes you know you come to star wars now it's just like there's a bunch of them but back in the day snow trooper was the first like oh they're not just always stormtroopers they mm -hmm. change fashion for the weather and yeah. having grown up in snow it's it's, it's yeah. tough but uh i thought oh, i'd go in yeah. shore trooper i still might go shore trooper but when we we're waiting to start recording i brought up some images of the snow troopers and like they are damn cool. Mm -hmm. and maybe I haven't thought enough in my life about snow troopers. Yeah. Maybe they deserve mm. my vote. And, and I like what you even said at the beginning. Well said in, in terms of sharing where your heart is right here and the, and the torment going on. But even at the beginning, you said, you know, hey, subjective wars, we try to make these decisions really tough. We've had some big ones around there here and, and some big debates to come. And I think this is even harder because it's, 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 I, it's just something Star Wars fans know. The trooper conversations, the variants, who are your favorites? Obviously, a lot of folks know over the years I've talked about how much I love biker scouts, but it's like mm -hmm. that's not the only design I love. Um, I also want to say right here at the top, just in case we get some wonderful um, feedback, we understand that coastal defender stormtroopers and cold weather assault stormtroopers might be their official <laughs> classifications. All right, I have Wikipedia <laughs> up, but I just, I just, we know. Um, uh, but we're can, we're going can, with snowies and beachies today. The snowies yeah. and beachies. Uh, <laughs> Now, if I had to vote based on those titles, that's the, the first metric that comes to mind. Cold assaults is like fair enough. That is what they are. They function mm -hmm. in the cold. All all troopers are going to have an assault function. Coastal Defender sounds like a bunch of shore troopers got together, got mad that they had a dumb name, started a petition to Palpatine, got 500 signatures of like, we need a really strong, tough name. We're coast like coastal defenders sound like a tire in a wimpy tire that needs a tough name, right? Yes. Coastal Defender is like a total overcompensating title. You, you know what? The Coastal Defender uh, Stormtrooper sounds like um, the folks of Miami Beach who are like trying to make sure no one comes out for spring break anymore. <laughs> yes. The Coastal Defenders. Not in our town. We're Coastal Defenders. Get out of here, um, crab. We're Coastal <laughs> Defenders. Our... It's already going for yeah, cold weather assault store troopers. Uh, yeah, I, I get, I, I, yeah, I like that more than coastal defender. I, but I, that's the thing, I like shore troopers. Like that's, I appreciate the the real names here, also known as coastal guard. Got it, got it. It's shore troopers, biker scouts, snow troopers, uh, air troopers, sea troopers. That's what you want. Yeah, that's that's the toy factor to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jen, 
you've got, you've already yet yeah, you've already said a lot, but we don't know. <laughs> right, right. Where are you? So at? I'm at. Uh, initially, I was all the way in with Shore Troopers, and then my nostalgic heart went back to Snoke Troopers. I also have some uh, evidence, practical, about the actual armor that I will bring to this debate today. Oh putting myself in the snowshoes of the snow trooper or the shore trooper, which would I rather prefer, which life? And I have some uh, evidence for that as well. This is about uh, the different eras of Joseph Scrimshaw's life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was snowy. Now he's yeah. good at beach. Uh, and I, I will say <laughs> I, I, need, I need to put my uh, chips on the table here. Uh, snow troopers are, man, they're near and dear to my heart because of the reason you said, Joseph, They're the first time. And again, I was in the theater for Jedi first. So Biker Scouts pop up because Mm -hmm. of that. But there was something even going back with the old VHS tapes of going, wow. From here and then all of a sudden the new movie, a new kind of troopers. I love that. That's been a staple. I still love that that shows up in Star Wars, which is why even if they fly now bothers you as a line, I get it. But the fact that there was a new version of uh, troopers that flew, the fact that that we had red ones, the fact we had flame troopers, executioner troopers, could go on and on and on. Mm -hmm. There's just some tradition I love. But that said, uh, it's weird that we are coming up. We're eight years out of Rogue One. Mm. Insane. Whoa. So Shore Troopers are that new band that is now a legend. And you sometimes still think they're a new band. <laughs> uh, but uh, as someone who has works in an oldies radio station and has to play songs from college that are oldies, uh, it hurts your soul. But Shore Troopers have become classic in my soul. I just love that they showed up. I love what they do. I love the look. love the feel. love the rankings assigned to them. They're generally supervisors. Ah, oh, man, there's so much there. I'm starting Shore Troopers before we dive in. Ooh, Ooh. Wow. powerful, powerful. All right. Uh, Joseph, where do you want to go here? What's what's your – Jen's got notes. She's got <laughs> – Yeah, I mean, weapons. I think I, I would like to really truly look at environment as a tactic and, and like yeah. – it, 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 is a metric, rather, and, and which, mm-hmm. uh, which trooper is actually equipped – for the job they claim uh, cold weather assault yeah. sounds like they're actually fighting the cold, which means they should have, fl- they should be flame troopers to melt the snow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm curious for, for both of you uh, uh, about your relationship to the weather of it. Ken, you grew up on the beach. Both of you grew up in California and mm-hmm. I'm so curious to see how that might change your relationship with the snow trooper to mine where cold weather assault was a life or death thing growing up <laughs> in Minnesota. Uh, so I'm curious I, about that, that aspect. Yeah. I love uh, I love the cold, and and, and it wasn't like you know, growing up in Pismo Beach and Royal Grande. Like it would get cold; it'd be like nights of twenty degrees, and you got coastal fog, and the, the, it's a cold beach. It isn't a, a summery beach, but I still had more fond memories of heading to Green Valley Lake and the San Bernardino Mountains every Thanksgiving. And I love the snow, and there's something I think I was drawn to that. The beach was like it was I could see it from my house. I don't know the beach. Uh, and so, like, the perfect – if there was rain troopers, <laughs> cloudy <laughs> troopers, or <laughs> cloudy with a chance of meatball troopers, that's what I would like now. So I think in terms of just weather, I think I was wistful for something I didn't fully understand, which was soul-piercing cold. Uh, mm. I understand where, where you would go, um, but I, I think that's why I liked them too as well. So, but say, same with Biker Scouts and the, and the Forest. Like, the fact that I, uh, Crescent City was a real place that we could drive to was just like, mm. I loved that idea mm. that I'd want to go to the Forest as a kid and be a Biker Scout. Mm. 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 Jen, what, what is your relationship with cold and, and how does it affect how you feel about, about snow troopers? I get made fun of uh, by my family because I do well in 75 degrees. <laughs> Hotter, I kind of melt. Less than 70, I'm freezing. So <laughs> it is odd that I would pick the snow yeah. troopers. However, it is based on their suits and the armor that they have. They are prepared for the cold. They have thermal insulation. They have breath heaters, protective hoods, right? They're insulated. They're toasty warm inside it. Now with the sh- uh, oh okay, I won't go to the short troopers. That's that's my thing for the snow troopers. <laughs> no, no, so no, I can go, handle go, the snow. no, no, go for it. Go for your short trooper. Uh, with yeah. the short trooper, I mean I, I didn't really look at exactly all the specs, but I know you're wearing a lot of gear and a helmet. Which instantly, if I'm in the heat, I'm gonna mm. be roasting. That is mm. unpleasant. Mm. Unless I have like they did with the fuzzy characters at Disneyland, where they would put like little fans inside their hoods. Mm. So I or heads. I, yeah. Mm-hmm, so maybe mm-hmm. if I had that inside my helmet. But otherwise, no, I don't want to be sweating in my armor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, okay. Okay. See, uh, well, all right. 
Snow Trooper armor was well insulated to protect against extreme cold with a suit and heated breather mask powered by a battery pack that lasts up to two standard weeks. Uh, it also included the ice beads. So I'm seeing nothing but a fan. I was trying to I was trying to see if I can get a fan for you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, for the for the snow troopers. For the snow troopers. For the snow troopers, I'm okay with everything they have. Okay. It's the short you, the short troopers you want. I okay, would sorry, need sorry. The fan. I, was, I was digging the into this here troopers. on the fly. Yeah, okay. I think Jen's making a, a really great argument of does the armor do what it claims it's going to do? Does right. the snow trooper armor right. protect you from being the cold? Should the short troopers be working on a beach that is actually hot? Is it is mm-hmm. their armor in any way help them? Um, the mm. snow. I think this is where I get really torn with the snow troopers because, yep, uh, it, it's heated. <laughs> it mm-hmm. covers everything. I think I've told the story before uh, here on Four Center. The the New Year's Eve when I lived in a small town in Minnesota where our, the gas pipe broke uh, in our home because of cold. And uh, on New Year's Eve, my mother had to take us to the local pizza place. And it was like negative 10 and huge Ooh. gusting wind and like enwrapped us. So there was nothing but like we could just barely see the flurries. And you can feel like the your <laughs> the, your eyelashes getting stiff from the yeah. cold. You, you yeah. know, when you've experienced that kind of cold, you're like, yes, the snowtroopers need to be isolate like totally insulated mm. right the mm. thing that's always they look cool but <sighs> a minnesota parent would look at that arm and go well what does the face mask tuck into it's like <laughs> you can't just wrap a loose thing well it's gotta <laughs> it wouldn't look cool if it was like tucked in Tuck, yeah, but like yeah, that's yeah. the total thing of like we well, gotta tuck in when a, there's a specific feeling i don't know if you guys have ever experienced um mm. especially if you're a kid or if you're shoveling and you got real warm gloves on But unless it's really tight to your wrist, this little bit of snow creeps in and sits right on that sensitive part of your wrist. And it's this like numbing, freezing terror. And when I look at the snow troopers, Mm. I feel that on my wrist because I feel like even if it's heated, that flaps open and snow's getting up on your little naked neck. Uh, I worry. I worry about the snow troopers. <laughs> worry about snow on your naked neck. Um, I said no. I didn't experience it because usually we, we were back in the Subaru by the time the snow got that <laughs> into the into the car we went. Uh, this is fascinating. We're talking about a lot of personal experiences here. The gear. I it just yeah. I, I I don't have any rebuttal against the the snow troopers not working. There's something in the simplicity of the design I love. I, I don't understand why they got the little uh, flaps, the little cape skirt kind of leg wear. Mm. But I was going to ask you, Joseph, did you have that on the playground <laughs> growing up? Well, we, we didn't have, uh, you know, butt wind protection, yeah. I guess. Uh, well, that's a yeah. horrible thing I said. You know what I mean. That's <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, a shirt. Yeah, yep. we record live to tape, as Ken says. No yep. heading in yep. that out. Anyway, no, I mean, I think that's I think that's in the grand tradition of purely aesthetic. I feel like they let some designer, some designer was like, you know, what would really mask that, you know, uh, match that long look on the face. If they also had like a long flowing look on the lower part of their body, there'd be nice balance aesthetically. There's balance. Yeah. I mean, if they're sitting in the snow a lot, I guess there's that. If they're sitting in the snow, then it could mm-hmm. soak into their pants. Oh, but man. yeah. But the yeah, short yeah, trooper, yeah. To, to Jennifer's point, is is, is the short trooper, I'm kind of nitpicking the snow trooper because my my biggest complaint mm-hmm. is that it's open and snow could get in the, the face yeah. flap. But the short trooper, I think there is potentially more to complain about <laughs> mm. in terms of, I, I love, love the design, but I don't know how unprotected thighs, like, to, is that the best way, place to breathe heat? <laughs> I think, look, I, you know, as someone who puts his uh, legs out of the, the the blankets at night, like a lot of folks, to keep cool, maybe, maybe. Mm. Do you think? Do you think they should have just gone shorts, <laughs> just leaned into it? <laughs> yes, Malibu yes. Defender Stormtroopers. Yeah, like big 100%. boots, and then like, yeah, it, it really does feel like we can't just do straight up shorts. So we'll just alleviate some heat by <laughs> open thighs, open thighs. Oh, you yeah. know, it's it, it's the breathability, Jed. You, you know. Yes, I th- they have breathable. I'm looking at the uh, Rogue One uh, visual dictionary mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. visual guide, and they have like these cargo pants, maybe looks like cotton material, canvas. So there's some mm-hmm. breathability there. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Look at the, See, it's just, yeah, yeah, you're going to be hot. Yeah, you call them cargo cargo pants. Like that. I've always incorrectly referred to them as capris, and I don't know how. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very <laughs> different look. Yes. Well, yeah. that's the Mary yeah. Tyler Moore trooper from yeah. the yeah. Dick Van Dyke show. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Yeah, uh, yeah, but, yeah. The protection angle is interesting because of all the troopers out there, these seem to be the ones that are like, look, you get the nice assignment of working the beach, you might get shot in the leg. It's a trade You're definitely mm-hmm, re- mm-hmm. bleeding out of a major, you know, thigh uh, <laughs> artery there. Ken, uh, you've spent a lot of time on, on beach, and yeah. as Anakin rightly points out, the sand does get everywhere. Do you feel the shore mm-hmm. troopers are equipped to deal with that crisis? I think so. I and, and I think this is this is how I would dress for the beach: sweatpants, a hoodie, pulled tight. Uh, the beach I went to as a kid was mostly fifty-two degrees, foggy, but the sand was the sand, uh, and I, I that's what I do like. I think this is more practical. I think I think that you're, you're exposing a little. A little crack uh, that uh, is is a flaw with the, the snowtrooper design of there's just a millimeter of space to get that snow in your face. Now, you might wear a mask yeah. underneath it, too. You got mm-hmm. the breather mask. There's a lot under the masks. Um, I get that. I get that. But I, I, I think there's something, too, about the maneuverability of the coastal, tro- coastal trooper. Uh, you know, you're not – I've always felt the snowtroopers, they're not sprinting. They're not moving fast. Maybe you don't need to in the snow. Um, mm-hmm. but that the, 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 the troopers, the, the shore troopers, uh, you got, you're running on the beach. You're, you're, you're dodging, you're rolling, you're swimming. I don't know. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I, I don't know if they're, they're <laughs> cargo pants are water resistant, but they can yeah. wait. They're, they're good at waiting. <laughs> they're waiting. Sure. Yeah. Waiters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're absolutely waiters. Uh, uh what, what, what do you guys think about the the difference in the armor uh, color? Like, okay, the snowtroopers, mm. they match the snow. They blend in real well on Hoth. You can see how they would, yep. especially they're yep. lying down and sniping. Nobody's catching mm-hmm. them, right? Mm-hmm. One of my favorite aesthetic things about the shore trooper is the off-white, is the beige. Yes. Is that practical? Are they going to be able to disappear on beach? Yeah, you're you're not gonna know where they're coming from. They're gonna crawl along. They're gonna look like uh, the the beach. You might. The only addition is maybe tape some kelp to you, so it looks like some sea <laughs> kelp come up on there. But I like it, and I agree with you. Just just in terms of visuals, why I, you know, a lot of people look at, uh, love celebrate Rogue One, love Rogue One. We love the kind of look and feel of it that's shown up in Andor. Uh, it's a it's a very uh, realistic kind of approach. It's very uh, OG trilogy. I get it, and that and it works for me. And that was one of the things. So just seeing the shore troopers, they they look like sand, <laughs> and they get everywhere too. So I love that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Jennifer, yeah. you've been doing lots of research. Are you finding anything? I discovered something that now is making me team shore trooper. If I were Uh-oh. to be a trooper, and that is, so here they're talking about scarif. Scarif's isolation mm-hmm. and the heavy defenses that surround it mean that shore troopers do not expect to see combat operations. So basically, they're chillaxing on the <laughs> beach. They have a lot more downtime. Mm-hmm. Um, I also learned that there there are less of them because they're not really needed that much. To me, this sounds like a yeah. good game. Like the freelance life, right? Like sometimes you might <laughs> need it. Freelance life. Not. I'm used to this. I'm used to this world. <laughs> I don't know about that. I oh, love that. Mm. Yeah. So I mean, they're like Ken. Yeah. Their, their, yeah. their job is beach. <laughs> it's <Yep>. ill-defined. <laughs> yeah. Could be a well, warm beach. Could be a cold beach. And, and there's a sense that Scarif's a little different, but there's a little bit more... Def- defend. We see them in action, right? And and they're again, they're a mo- little more skilled. They're, they're they all come in, I think, with the rank of sergeant. Other ones have rank of lieutenant. But like you go to Andor and Niamos, you know, they're there to. It's it's not want to, you know, especially in that arc. They're they're more the police officers on the street. But they're they're not they're not the the, the bullet catchers that this thing other other troopers are to me. They are there right. to interact right. with and oppress the communities that they're in to take a piso or two as a payment. Uh, they're to the, do more of that stuff. So it's nice to know that appeals to you, Jen, that you want to steal some pizzas <laughs> and arrest people. Do you think Palpatine looked around the galaxy and said, like, okay, well, there's a lot of snow planets, snow troopers we need practically, biker scouts are their snipers mm-hmm. and, snipers, and most, yeah. you know, expanded stuff, you know, the, the you know, mountain, like, a lot of them make sense, the ter- territories and terrain. Yes. Do you think Palpatine at one point went, you know, a lot of people feel happy on a beach, and I got to end that. <laughs> I need a trooper there yes. to just ruin people's day this is not this is where you go to I escape agree. from me andrew said he wanted to go somewhere warm and easy and he's like and probably he's like i'm gonna make every beach just i'm gonna be mm-hmm. i'm kicking i'm kicking mm-hmm. sand on your blanket parties everybody here are my short troopers yeah 
I think there's some truth to that. I think Palpatine is that petty. I think he he takes away that kind of joy whenever he can. Uh, <laughs> you can't even relax. Uh, you know, they're there. And then there's this idea of like, well, they're not the super armored, you know, aggressive brand of troopers out there these these are the beach guys it's like i always you, you back back in the data bank brawl days people always make fun of cops on bicycles and i'm always like do not they are more high they're actually more advanced they get that gig because they can handle their own they can chase down a car and a bike that's why they're there it's not a it's not an easy uh, gig but i think it's the perception so i think short troopers have that everyone's like eh, short troopers oh god now suddenly i'm being choked by a kx droid where they take my pizzas <laughs> And I and like Jen's, to think, and Jen's over there going, do it, do it. But I, you know, if I was a shore trooper, I would know the members of the community. I would enforce <laughs> things based on like, hey, hey, so and so, you know, uh, don't do that. You're, I'm gonna tell your mom. Yeah. Like, I feel like there's more room for me to to be more of a of a shore trooper for the people. Yeah. Uh, neighborhood <laughs> beach policing. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You're, yeah, you're talking about in your neighborhood. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Com- right. Community based policing. My my old That's boss it. when he was uh, when he was a sergeant, uh, he would say he would regularly go down us uh, is like uh, uh, like South Central. LA. He would go play basketball in uniform, and he was very popular because he was good. He was a good baller. And and they would he, he would he would that's how he tried to like hey you know br- let me break through some of these barriers, uh, and he would just every day go down get out of his car, play some hoops, Sam Brown belt on everything. <laughs> And they'd always be like, "Hey, why don't you take your uniform off?" He's like, "I'm not. I'm not going to do that." <laughs> but, but uh, so that's what that's the kind of short trooper you want to be, Jen. That's what I want to be. If I'm a snow trooper, I can't. There's no mess. It's like literally, it's oh, life or death. Yeah, yeah. I I don't want to die. So that's I'd true. rather be on the beach. In theory, if there was a snowy community, you could just go around like using your I- I- advanced snow plowing machinery and you know making mm-hmm. accessible, making people's homes accessible. I don't think they're doing that on Kajimi, but right, they could. Right. They could. Yeah, fascinating. Uh, this is fascinating to think about which one you'd want to be. I think maybe part of that comes to it. It's, you know, metrics for me are action figures and aesthetic mm-hmm. coolness and that. But there's also like, well, which one do you want to be? I think. Yeah, valuable, valuable. Which one? Do you I think want some to be? of it comes to their actual training. Like, mm-hmm. so I would imagine snow troopers are not only do they have the equipment for the heat, I'm sure they're like trained to be like, it's an entirely different thing to run on snow and you know, it's slippery and crunchy and you got to know when you're going to fall through. And I bet they're, I bet they're trained to work with glare because that's another thing you're going to encounter in Mm. sun is like Mm. uh, or snow sun hitting the snow. There's that glare. Right. So I can imagine Mm. lots of ways that snow troopers are trained for combat in that terrain. How, Mm. How do we think shore troopers are trained to fight on beach? Is it just that they can mm. they can wade? We've seen that. Mm-hmm. But other, what are their other like sand techniques, combat wise? How would you train them differently, Ken? I think lifting the knees is number one. Man. Get those knees high when you're running. I, I think uh, um, <laughs> it's a different kind of pacing, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Having not run a lot in the snow, I, I don't know, but it's a different kind of. Uh, you know, endurance. Uh, I think uh, mm. it isn't about speed. It's about sticking through it. I used to try to go running on the beach when I was uh, in college. It didn't work well for me. But uh, uh, it's you know, it's it's you're not all you're not going to be Rocky and Apollo on the beach running and frolicking in the mm-hmm. in the water. It's a, it's a little tougher run. Um, so I think you're right. It's 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 a little more of a long winded endurance is needed to mm. fight. Um, and I don't know how you could use your environment. Both of environments can be used to your benefit but yeah, snow can, is a little different <laughs> you can dig in and hide on the beach and they're the right color yep. for it i also just think there's something really funny in that about them being the coastal defenders because like they're not aqua troopers they're like right if the yeah. problem gets <laughs> more than you know what three feet in <laughs> the water they're like yeah right mm-hmm. our authority ends here sir oh no <laughs> they just are, are there rebels oh, how how man. deep are the rebels in the in the water because until they come <laughs> on the shore they're not our problem. Yeah. 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 It, it, it's like video games now have changed, but like the first Red Dead game, like you die in the water. The second one, you can swim. Like mm-hmm. it's the short troopers, like, ah, as far as we can go. Uh, <laughs> they remind, like uh, when I worked at Kinko's, there was like a, we had one a guy who, who did the digital work at the time. We sent files over and he would not touch anything that wasn't digital. He'd be like, I'm mm-hmm. digital. I won't, I will, I will not touch a piece of paper. I won't make one physical copy, even if guy. you need the help. I'm a digital guy. It was like technically his job, but he was like one of those like I am not a team player. I'm a stickler to the letter 
uh, mm. of the the rules, not the spirit of the mm. rules. Like, I can't make a physical copy. I'm a digital guy. Mm. <laughs> and I feel like the short troopers are like, yeah, no, I can't go into the water. I can't go yeah. too far into land either. I operate <laughs> only on this strip of sand. Only right here. Only good. right here. I like that yeah. gig. I like it. Yeah. Good. Je yeah, Jen Sullen's gig. Uh, you mentioned figures. I, I, we were remiss if we didn't mention like figures and 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 which mm. one you'd want or which one looks better. And and I, I think Short Trooper says the slight advantage of being in the modern era, a little more detail and sculpts, all that kind of stuff. I don't know if I have a Black Series six inch, but I, I know they had them. Um, Jen, uh, you know, your c collecting miles may vary in these modern times, but what what figure has the advantage? So, uh, for me, it's the snow trooper. I mean, you mm. get it next to, mm. you know, uh, uh, an ad at, sorry, mm. AT, AT, right? No, we, it, we, we stand at at here. I'm okay. <laughs> but you put it next to the ad at. How cool does that look? Mm -hmm. the, the shore trooper for me just doesn't have the same effect on the shelf. It looks cool. I put a palm tree next to it. Sure. But there's nothing like the snow trooper. Mm. Mm. There's some classic about that that snow trooper figure too, mm -hmm. and and it's all yeah. its versions. I had the little the little micro sets from Kenner. Mm. And I have all the snow trooper uh -huh. ones. Some about that. They 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 uh, they came in so many different poses. There's one that mm -hmm. that's laying on the ground. Uh, <laughs> right. So exciting. Yes. Uh, yes. But no, it was just literally like I'm creeping <laughs> along the snow. Is that that micro one yeah. was so cool? I mm -hmm. never got the original Kenner, so I think part of the snow trooper fascination uh, for me it was yeah. it was the one that got away i never had the original <laughs> kenner snow trooper i have two Love short that. troopers i have i have a carded one uh no i have three and then i have the uh vintage collection and i have a two-pack with bistan um mm. the short trooper aesthetically just as an action figure is one of my favorite action figures it it we, we, i love joking about like why why is the thigh the only thing that's bows without armor mm -hmm. how do they function coastal defender but they just look so damn cool there's something about them that just uh, uh, from all the new troopers we've had in the new era mm -hmm. they are the coolest looking to me i think it's that that beige mm -hmm. that fun mystery of looking at them going what exactly do they do why are they that way it's just yeah. like this endless adventure like yeah. i uh, the action figure wise <laughs> the uh, it, the short trooper wins just a little bit for me Mm. I'm I'm with you. Uh, I I think I'm trying to take out the the modern age factor where you just have more po points of articulation to draw you in. But, but even beyond that, there's just something that works so well on the shelf. Uh, I do love the classic. I I too think I didn't get the classic Kenner sh uh, Snow Trooper. I have to double check on that. I, I don't think I did. Um, but yeah, there's just something about it that. Uh, uh, the figures came out that it just drove home the point of design. I've said before, I have a couple of friends who are like, I didn't really like Rogue One. Don't really love modern Star Wars, but it did give us the shore troopers and that's a win. So I think I, I, I'll, I'll collect the shore troopers still over the snow troopers. Mm. Mm. Well, there, there's, right. there's some, yeah, there's something too of just like even if you were to say, "Hey, Ken, you you, you walk in and there's two a uh, six inch black series. There's a snow trooper and a short trooper. Which one you want? I, I'm going to the short trooper every time because the other ones is just like, yeah, it's a it's a white sheet of snow. <laughs> it's just this one's got detail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, mm. it's hard. Well, so that's our action figure votes, but are, yeah. Do we have more to talk about before we go to our final vote? What do you think? Kat? We're we're getting there. Uh, I, we've talked about do, who do you want to be them? We talked. Mm. To, we, we've broke apart the actual designs in terms of functionality. Are those shorts? Are those cargo pants or capris? I think capris win. No. Um. And then the the the, the legacy of the of the snow trooper. Um. Yeah. Where 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 else? Anything? A dangling part of simple of an idea. Anything you want to go? Anything? Final points, Joseph. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I suppose the snow troopers. We are really uh, concentrating on the originals from Empire Strikes Back. They have their evolution mm -hmm. in the First Order era, and mm -hmm. I, I almost just wish the First Order ones were a little bit closer to the original. Yes. Like they're cool, they're cool, but they're not they're not distinctive enough. They're not unique enough for me. Mm -hmm. and, and I like the new First Order stormtroopers. They're, they're I like that evolution. I like the kind I of like the regular more, ones more than the other ones. Yeah. Modernized. Right. I love the flame trooper. Flame trooper. Yeah. Phenomenal first cool. order flame troopers. So I'm not just down on first order troopers. I just think they're mm -hmm. not quite distinctive enough, you know. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. think snow trooper. There, there's more than one kind of snow trooper, which gives them a vote. Short troopers are mostly just uh, um, uh, uh, differentiated by their command structure, 
which for me mm-hmm. only makes it better because then you get one that has got a lot of blue on him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I like where you're going with that. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get down on the on the first order snowtroopers, but they weren't my favorite. They I liked that they were there. It's definitely yeah. part of it. You'd expect that. Um, but I like it. Yeah. Um I do like just the classic re the, the Force Awakens regular stormtrooper. Mm-hmm. I like that redesign, uh, um, which was a tweak more than redesign, I guess you would say. Jen, final thoughts? I'm going to provide you- some more evidence for the short trooper. I stand That's corrected enough. because they do have temperature controlled uh, a con- temperature controlled bodysuit. They also have fewer plates, allowing them for a more flexible and lightweight lightweight fit. There which you go. Mean- they can run better. They, they can run can- better. And I have ran on both the beach and in powdery snow. And my experience, very limited, has been I'd rather run on a beach than falling in the snow, which I have done. Because when it's uh, – Joseph, like you tell me, when it's like powdery, it's super <laughs> deep. How do you get through it? You can't. Mm. And if I'm running for my life, that's it. I'm toast. Mm. Honest snow walking in Star Wars is demonstrated to us uh, by Luke Skywalker when he's, you know – uh, that sometimes some of the most miserable times of my life it's where star wars has been there for me of like i'm eight i've never been drunk but i, I think that's this is what it looks like when adults are you're just like blah, blah, going back and forth falling all over yourself the way luke is when he's just kind of wobbling through it like there's nothing for it you know and there's a when there's like a big snowfall it, it, you know a couple times in minneapolis when i was an adult where like everything was shut down and people are just wading through it to get to like a friend's house or that because it's mm-hmm. a snow day now, and everything is canceled. Uh, and mm. and and everybody looks like Luke trying to <laughs> escape the Wampa Cave. Right. Uh, so I agree. Sand, you're going to shift, right? You're going to shift yeah. a little bit, but snow, you're going to shift. You're going to fall through. You're going to slip. There's way more to go wrong in snow. I think. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Sand. Sand. It's that. Especially for walking up sand dunes. It's the you just you're taking 15 steps to move one, but mm-hmm. you're just you're aware of it. Yeah. The Luke. The Luke image. That's a good. That's a good. Yeah. That's a good use of, uh, of that. It's no All sexy right. volleyball games in snow. Right. 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 Uh, maybe in Finland where they're more used to <laughs> the cold. Um, yeah. All right. I think we've come to the end here. Uh, we've got to determine: Did anyone flip? Did anyone turn around? Are we standing steady? Snow trooper versus shore trooper. Uh, Joseph, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with you because mm-hmm. uh, Jen seemed to you know she's done some switching here. I want to see where she ends up. Yeah, I think I, I think I've gone through a lot. I think I've processed a lot emotionally. I think I'm moved uh, by Jennifer's research, but more importantly, the I, I think the metric ultimately of who would I want to be, and mm-hmm. uh, I, I I have many treasured memories of of snow. I'm probably live somewhere where there's snow again, but look, if I have to be a tool of a vicious <laughs> imperial government, I'd rather hang out on the beach, defending the coast from absolutely nothing while looking really cool than being sent into actual uh, environmental hell incredibly difficult uh, conditions if my armor fails me i'm done for and uh, rebels and various monsters are taking pot shots at me all the time i want to be a short trooper so my ultimate conclusion is one i need to heal old wounds and buy a hoth snow trooper action figure Right. And my vote's going to be short trooper. It, it, wow. this one. Nostalgia All loses right. this one. It's short trooper for me. All right. All right. That's big. That's big. I'm going to slide in here because I have not moved. I have not moved at all. I love the snow troopers. I love Empire Strikes Back. I love everything about it. I love even them setting up an e wib repeating blaster and dying immediately. I absolutely love it. Um, but short troopers is that new thing that instantly feels like a classic, instantly feels like it's been in your life the whole time. It's, it's, it's new, but it's slightly an improvement on, on what was before. I'm not saying it's like Wings was better than the Beatles, but I'm just saying <laughs> I would have bought a ticket for Wings just as much as the Beatles back in the day. I'm going Shore Troopers. Uh, Jen, take us home. Sounds like you might have switched sides, but I, I need to know. I have flipped like a burger. I am now Team Shore Trooper. 100%. Wow. 
And that is because putting myself in the shoes of that trooper, it just makes more sense. It's a more glamorous of the gigs. It's yeah. a lot more fun. You hang out with your with your buddies, right? <laughs> Hanging out on the beach. Busted Don't have to go heads. in the water. <laughs> right. Don't have to go in the water. Not a lot of danger. <laughs> the only sad thing is, is that with the empire uh, on the decline later on, the jobs become fewer and fewer, which you know what? Again, I can relate in the entertainment world. So this is my life. <laughs> I am a shore trooper. This is true. You can end up on Morak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Trooper. But until that time, you're just kicking back with your buds and all those uh, confiscated pizos. What happened to them? What saying. happened to them? Well, we've done it. Clean sweep. Sorry, uh, Snow Troopers. Shore Troopers has won the day. What do you think? We want to hear in the comments down below if you're watching on YouTube or if you're listening to us. Uh, please tweet us uh, your reasons. Have fun like we do here. It's subjective wars, which means... In the end, it's all subjective. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. All right, let's uh, get on out of here. We can be found on social media at Four Center Pod, at Twitter, Instagram, uh, Threads, Hive, also on Facebook at Four Center Podcast. Post comments over there as well. Merch available at tpublic.com slash user slash Four Center. As a podcast, we're everywhere. Just search, you'll find us. We are on YouTube. Subscribe there if you'd like. And don't forget, you can support us directly at patreon.com slash Four Center. Uh, you can also follow me at Ken Napsock. Uh, or my website, KenNapsack.com. I don't want to spoil it too early, but I think I'm going to be making my debut in Minneapolis as a city later this year, but I don't think we'll be going during the snowy times, but I'll still take some advice, Joseph, on what to do with drunken bears in airports. So find that mm -hmm. on my website. Where can they find you, sir? Uh, you can find me uh, giving Ken <laughs> too much information about Minneapolis. You got to do this and this and this. I'm excited for that. Uh, you can find me on all the social media at Joseph Scrimshaw is my handle everywhere. You can check out my website, josephscrimshaw.com, for updates on when our short horror film, The Nightmare Adorable, is playing in May 4th, Star Wars Day. I will be in Seattle for a showing of the film at uh, Crypticon Seattle convention and film festival so if you're interested uh come check that out as for right now you can find me shopping for snow trooper action figures online irresponsibly there you go jen uh, where can they find you and your tales of running in both snow and sand i'd like to know more about this uh, <laughs> yes. where can they find you you can find me on all the social media sites at jennifer landa or tiktok at jennifer landa 1138 there you go. All right. We've done it. We've decided that the subjective wars have been fought. We'll see you next time here on Force Center.